Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problems 12.172 and 12.173, okay? So it says, the road OA rotates clockwise with a constant angular velocity of 6 radians per second. Two pin connected slider blocks located at B move freely on OA and the curved road whose shape is a limousine described by the equation R equals to 200 multiplied by the parentheses of 2 minus cosine of theta, and this is in millimeters. Determine the speed of the slider blocks at the instant when theta is equal to 150 degrees, okay? And for problem 12.173, we have determined the magnitude of the acceleration of the slider blocks in problem 12.172 when theta is equal to 150. So basically, for 172, we're asked to determine the speed or the magnitude of velocity. And for 172, we're asked to find the magnitude of our acceleration, okay? And what we have in here is this bar from 08. And we have this bar B that slides throughout this circular shape, okay? And we're given the equation of the radius component, okay? Position. So... If we want to find the velocity and acceleration, we're going to utilize the equations that were given in chapter 12, okay? Which are these two equations. As, and as we can see, all we need is the values for r, r naught, and r double dot, okay? Now, we also need theta dot and theta double dots, okay? So, we're going to utilize these guys and knowing that we need to do to know this what we're going to start with so we're going to start with our equation of r r is given to be 200 multiplied by 2 minus cosine of theta okay since i'm going to take the derivative of this guy i'm going to multiply this 200 for with our parentheses we got 400 minus 200 cosine of theta okay so this is my equation for r and if i take the time derivative I will have r dot is equal to negative 200 and then I'll have cosine of theta. The derivative of cosine of theta is negative sine of theta. So I'm going to have that this is going to become a positive 200 sine of theta multiplied by the derivative of my inside, which is the derivative of theta, which is theta dot. Okay, so this is my derivative for r. Now we're going to take the second time derivative of r, which will have to be 200, it's a constant, so we take it out. We're gonna open a parenthesis and we're going to do a product rule, okay? So we're going to do the derivative of sine of theta is going to be cosine of theta times the derivative of the inside of my sine is going to be sine theta, okay? Now we leave our second term the same, so we're going to multiply by an extra theta dot, and since we're multiplying twice that data we're going to have theta dot square okay now we're going to have plus and we're going to leave our sine of theta the way it is and we're going to multiply it by the second derivative of our theta dot okay so now we found our derivative for our second derivative of our r and what have what else it's given to us we're we're given so I'll just write our givens. We're given that theta is equal to 150 degrees, okay? And we're also given that theta dot is constant, and this is equal to six radians per second, okay? So now, here is the tricky part of this question for me, okay? So these six radians is constant, but what we haven't included is the direction of these six radians. As we can see, our theta positive direction is going counterclockwise, while our uh, radians, angular velocity in radians per second is going clockwise, meaning that this six radians per second has to be negative, okay? Now, we know that this angular velocity or our theta dot is constant. That also includes that our theta double dot is equal to zero, okay? So let's just start with problem 172 and find our velocity component. So I'm going to come here and share the notes that I have for our curvilinear motion. 
and these are our velocity components the one on top the ones on top so if we start our velocity component in the radial our radial velocity component is equal to r dot and since we have the equation well what's the equation the equation is 200 multiplied by sine of theta times theta dot if we plug our values in we got 200 sine of 150 degrees multiplied by theta dot which is equal to negative 6 radians okay now we're going to take our calculator plug in our values in and we will end up having negative 600 okay now what are the units well the units should be our millimeters divided by sec and they are in millimeters because our r radial uh, equation was given in millimeters okay next we're going to do our velocity but in our transfer component and what will we have we'll have r multiplied by our theta dot okay so our equation for r is given to be 400 minus 200 cosine of theta and then we're going to multiply it by theta dot okay now we're going to plug our values in. We'll have 400 minus 200 cosine of 150 degrees. Then we close bracket, open the bracket, and put our value for theta dot, which is negative 6. Okay? So now that we have our value in here, we're going to plug it into our calculator. And after we do that, we're going to end up having negative 3,439 millimeters per second, okay? Now, what we need to pay attention is that the question is asking for the speed, which in other words is the magnitude of velocity. So if we want to find the magnitude of this velocity, we have to do the square root of both components squared. So we will have negative 600 squared plus negative three four three nine is square okay and if we plug this into our calculator we will get a total of three thousand four hundred and ninety one millimeters per second okay if we round it up and if we convert these millimeters into meters we will have a total of three point forty nine meters per second Okay, and this should be our answer for our problem 172, okay? Next, for problem 173, is asking for our acceleration. So for our acceleration, we got these two acceleration components. So we're going to have our acceleration in the radial component. It's equal to r double dot minus r multiplied by theta dot squared, okay? Now... What are these equal to? So let's go up, up here where we have our r double dot and we will realize that this is equal to, we got 200. So the first one is going to be 200 multiplied by cosine of theta times theta dot square plus sine of theta multiplied by theta double dot Okay, and we're done with R, then we're going to have minus, we're going to have minus of R, which is 400 minus 200 cosine of theta. And we're going to multiply this by our theta dot square, okay? And this is our equation for our acceleration in the radial component. If we plug the values in, we're going to have 200 multiplied by cosine theta is 150 degrees multiplied by negative 6 squared plus our sine of 150 degrees multiplied by our theta double dot which is equal to 0 meaning that all this term over here becomes 0 then we will have negative minus 400 minus 200 cosine of 150 degrees 
and we're lastly we're multiplying by negative six square okay and if we plug these values in here in our calculator we will get a total of negative twenty six thousand eight hundred and seventy millimeters per second square which are units of acceleration okay next we're going to do our acceleration in our transversal component which is going to be equal to r times theta double dot plus two times r dot times theta dot okay so now that we have this we're going to put it equal to so r is equal to 400 minus 200 cosine of theta then we're going to multiply it by theta double dot so theta double dot we're gonna have plus two times r dot if we go back and remind ourselves what r dot is so this one over here 200 sine theta times 200 sine theta times theta dot all right multiply by theta dot again okay so given for our equation so this theta dot is this theta dot. all right so now that we have our equation we're going to plug our values in and we're going to have 400 minus 200 cosine of 150 degrees then we close our brackets open a bracket and our theta double dot is equal to zero meaning that all this term from here is equal to zero okay we're going to have plus two times 200 sine of 150 degrees times negative six we close our bracket and we open another bracket and we have times negative six okay if we plug this into our calculator we will get a total of 7200 millimeters per second square okay which are units for our acceleration now that we're done with both of our accelerations the question is asking for the magnitude of our acceleration therefore the magnitude of our acceleration we apply Pythagorean theorem we're going to do our first component a square plus our second component a square and all over our square root okay so after putting this into our calculator we should get a total equal to 27,818 well, that we can round up to 19 in millimeters per second square okay and if we round it up into meters we'll get a total of 27.8 meters per second square okay and this should be our answer for our problem 173 okay so thank you guys for watching if you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one